when I first got introduced to the camera and I, I unbuttoned this pouch, I looked at this camera and I thought, all right, this is the future. Hi, I'm Joe McNally, Nikon USA ambassador, and we're in the middle of the desert. El Mirage dry lake bed with the Z9, and we're putting it to the test. Race cars, dancers, out here in the big nothing. The reason we came to the desert, the featured image, was to work with Ed Fenn, who's a race car designer and is a vehicle that will go in excess of 250 miles an hour. It also produces flames. It also has a beautifully graphic shape. And I said to Ed, this is the car I want to work with. Oh, I'm just happier than dead pig laid in the sun. I love driving. And uh, I'm just going to go have fun. All right, so agenda for the day, OK, has been we did pulls on the car this morning with flame and flash. So that section is done. Still the most important pictures are to come, right? This afternoon, sunset, flame and flash, all right? Cannot miss. This is the autofocus section of our coverage right now. Ed's going to buzz the course as he would, regular race car driver. We're going to be at positions down the course with 800, 180 to 400, 100 to 400, et cetera remotes and we're going to track Ed's progress. Once he starts that car, let's not miss. All right, here we go. The thing that stood out to me most, I mean, the obvious thing of course is speed. Camera is so fast. I was tracking a race car in the desert at 120 miles an hour and I never lost sight of it. There was no blackout, continuous view of my subject. And that was the first time in my entire career I've ever experienced that. Everybody ready? Let's light the pilots. Nothing smooth, right, on location. There's stuff you gotta solve. In this particular situation, there's a lot of stuff to solve because you're dealing with wind, smoke, flash, remote camera, f-stop, shutter speed, dragging, towing. But we're getting there, we're really getting there. As every minute that light comes down, the picture gets nicer and nicer. And I'm edging closer to the picture I had in my head. When I looked through the viewfinder, that Z9, and I saw the color and the light and the picture I needed, the picture I wanted, the picture that was in my imagination, that was the moment. That was the reason we came here. The king of, of racing, the king of machines, the king of fire. The camera does have a little bit of everything. If you're an all-purpose photographer, I've been an assignment photographer my whole life. I've done the kitchen sink, you know, politics, news, sports, fashion, beauty, celebrity. If you're looking at a camera that will address all those needs, a camera that covers the waterfront for you as a photographer, this camera is it. Starting off in really bad light, I mean, you can see. It's harsh desert light. But you have to start working because you have to kind of just accelerate into the day because that really nice light comes quickly and fades quickly. So you have to be up and running. So I'm gonna battle the sun right now with bigger power packs. The dancer has already said, I don't really have moves per se. You tell me how you want to express in the air and that's what I'll give you. So that's like nirvana, right? When someone is so physically adept, they can physicalize your imagination. That's wonderful. I'm shooting a 100 to 400, and I'm gonna be on this, an intelligent brand of autofocus that will actually follow him no matter where he goes. I'm really anticipating like 100% success uh, with tracking this dancer no matter what kind of move he makes. Eye recognition, it's amazing. He's running at me and then he leaps and the little box, you know, for lack of a better term, it's a little box, stays right on his eyes. Nice. All right. All right, I think we got this covered. Nice job, man. Awesome. I always tell young photographers, this business is 90% confidence. 
even if you walk onto the set and you haven't got a, had a good idea and you're feeling uninspired, you still have to project confidence. And when I pick a camera up like this, it complements my confidence, it enhances it. I've always loved a robust camera. A flagship is always where I've gravitated towards because I know the durability is there. It's not gonna fail. I know that AF is at absolute optimum. I know that the structure of the camera is so strong and so weatherproof that I can literally go into a rainstorm and it will keep working. As a photographer, the Z9 is gonna be my partner. It enhances my confidence and it increases my chances of success. As you can see from the quality of light, it's the end of the day. The last couple of days in the field have been facilitated by scene recognition, dynamic autofocus like I've never seen before, ability to track, new glass that's coming, 100 to 400, the speed and power of the camera, how fast it acts, how fast I'm seeing my results in the EVF. I'm just saying that this camera made our experience out here possible in so many ways. So signing off. Joe McNally, Nikon USA ambassador from the lake bed at El Mirage, California.